Welcome back. So the dip also gets bought equally quickly in this market, doesn't it? And you do have some names uh, on the screen. Uh, Aisha Motors, for instance, is one of them, uh, which is managing to uh, buck the trend. And now it's kind of moving back uh, to the highs of the day. Just one example of the sentiment. Well, let's move on. And as promised, let's get the fundamental conversation going now. We have Prateek Agrawal of ASK Investment Managers joining in with their call on this market. Prateek, uh, good morning. Wish you a very, very happy new year 2021, first of all. So tell us, it's uh, it's a market move that seems to be now, you know, catching everybody uh, with complete awe. The market is refusing to show any signs of stopping down or slowing down. How would you approach things now? Yeah, so uh, we continue to be positive given the fact that the economy is coming back and uh, profits are back as well. So quarter two profits were over 20% higher than same period last year. Actually, like on like, even higher. Uh, and quarter three, uh, the festival season has gone strong. So we do believe uh, numbers would also be uh, strong. Now, given that, uh, and if we see the level of the market versus where it was last year, uh, we are uh, up in line with the uh, increase in profits. And yes, uh, over the interim period, we have seen liquidity increase and interest rates decline as well. So uh, chances of valuation sustaining where they are, are high. Mm. Prateek, uh, morning. This is Reema here. So in terms of a portfolio, what is the approach that you're taking? Uh, would you look to trim your position in certain sectors and stocks, uh, you know, to make way for certain buys? Walk us through, uh, you know, what would you do with incremental money now? Yeah, so uh, one, in terms of our portfolio, we want to be with businesses who would do well uh, irrespective of it being, uh, let's say, COVID period or a more normal period. Uh, to give you some insights, over the past five to six months, uh, you know, we are low churn guys in which ways. Uh, we have taken some money off uh, consumers. That's, that was a large uh, overweight position for us. And moved money into technology, IT services, pharmaceuticals, and specialty chemicals. Uh, let's say overall, uh, uh, 11 to 12 percent kind of a move from consumers to uh, these spaces. So that is what we have done. Uh, lately, we have increased, uh, uh, you know, high quality lenders as well. Uh, the fear on NPAs uh, has really come down and that helps our view there. And uh, what we have also tried to do is increase uh, manufacturing. Uh, especially guys who benefit from PLI uh, scheme of the government and uh, you know uh, technology enablers uh, is again uh, a space that interests us. So Pratik if I could just ask a follow up on that now PLI is going to be rolled out across 10 different sectors so which of these sectors are you most convinced of? I mean, electronics and sort of mobile manufacturing, they were the first off the cuff. Now it's going to autos, uh, chemicals, etc. as well. Yeah, so uh, we are already exposed to specialty chemicals. That's uh, between 10 to 15 percent exposure in our portfolios. Uh, uh, very positive on that space, uh, whether PLI happens or not, PLI would provide further tailwinds. Uh, electronics is something which where you know uh, as such the country probably lacked competitive advantage and PLI is really helping uh, catalyze growth in that space. Uh, we have added a name from from that space. but that said, uh, let this team uh, get rolled out, let the winners emerge. We would be happy to look at other spaces uh, as well. Uh, you know, uh, a thought that is clearly up there in the mind is uh, manufacturing share of GDP over the next four or five years could climb. And uh, to that extent, the same should be reflected in the portfolios as well. Hmm. Um, just uh, one final question. In terms of technology, you all have added uh, to your positions, you just told us. Uh, what is it that you're looking at? Would it be the large caps, you know, those frontline top five IT names? Or would you go down the pecking order and look at some mid caps? And any names, if you could share? So, uh, not really going to names, but yes, we have 
uh, some exposure to tech services companies, but we were more looking at platforms, more looking at companies which use the net to uh, sell their product, for example. Uh, maybe not in India, maybe abroad. Uh, maybe looking at companies which help advertisers, uh, you know, position their ads better, for example, uh, you know, add value in the technology space. Now, uh, yes, the IT services companies are large cap. Uh, 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 a telecom stroke technology platform would be large cap. But other names in this space, uh, in the technology space, would be uh, mid caps. So uh, we, we are looking actually across the spectrum. Okay. All right, Pratik. Uh, thank you very much for joining in and giving us uh, your sense in the market and how you are approaching things at these dizzying heights. Thanks for joining in. We do have to take another break on that note. On the other side, some picks for 2021.